All right, from the 208 to the 202, we're going back east to Washington, D.C. A clean sweep for Idaho's congressional delegation. A whole lot of nays being brayed about, and there have been two critical votes in D.C. the last couple of days. Congress trying to leg out some legislation before lawmakers head off on their summer vacations. One of those, the Honoring Our Pact Act, which would expand health care coverage for 3.5 million military veterans who were exposed to toxins like Agent Orange in Vietnam or burn pits during combat in Iraq and Afghanistan, it was blocked yesterday in the Senate, which is dead. It needed 60 votes, got only 55. Both Idaho Senators Mike Crapo and Jim Risch voted against it. It did pass the House last month, though, by a wide margin, 342 to 88. However, two of those 88 no votes came from Idaho's Congressman Mike Simpson and Russ Fulcher. Both Simpson and Fulcher weren't finished with their no votes in the House. Today, they were on the, op the opposing side of the CHIPS Plus Act. That's the bill that is supposed to help American companies compete with China in producing much needed semiconductor chips. It happens to be a specialty of Boise's Micron technology. Well, the bill would help rebuild computer chip manufacturing infrastructure, keep and create jobs in the industry stateside, and lessen our dependence on China. Despite Idaho's entire delegation disagreeing with the bill, both Crapo and Rich voted against it yesterday, the CHIPS Act is going to the president's desk. It passed. It cleared the Senate 64 to 33, and then today it hurled the House 243 to 187. And while both agree, both Simpson and Fulcher agree, we need to improve the semiconductor industry here at home, in explaining their votes, both Simpson and Fulcher said the CHIPS Act was a bloated bill and it would spend unnecessary money on things other than encouraging chip manufacturing. Simpson calling it a, quote, far cry from a clean bill to support U.S. competitiveness, sending billions to a Democratic wish list that have nothing to do with countering China's stranglehold on chips. And Fulcher, citing his time spent at Micron and admitting China dominating the market is a problem, Fulcher said semiconductor companies have already made plans to invest $80 billion domestically through, two, uh, through 2025. Therefore, this bill is deemed unnecessary, and both say, well, it had $200 million or billion dollars, $200 billion of excess funds attached to it. Both cited inflation and how more government spending would make it worse. We have reached out to all of our delegation to get a deeper understanding of their votes. There are no votes on these two bills. Other than those state statements from Fulcher and Simpson, well, we have yet to hear back.